Hi, my name is Money Peaks, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review uh, Stephen King's Dr. Sleep. This was a really good book. I gave it um, five stars on Goodreads, and I literally just finished this. Um, it's a sequel to The Shining, um, but it's not um, at all scary like a lot of people feel The Shining is. Um, there is some violence but it's different. It follows um, Danny Torrance, who was the little boy in The Shining. And um, it, it goes through his dealings of uh, being an alcoholic and being a recovering alcoholic. It touches a lot on um, sobriety and AA meeting and not being an alcoholic myself. I honestly don't know um, if Stephen King... Uh, overshared or anything with the traditions. Um, I do know that he is a recovering addict himself, so he knows a lot about um, AA and AA type things, so I'm sure he did it justice. Um, it takes uh, The Shining into a whole new place, though. Um, there are ghosts, but there's more than ghosts. Uh, the main bad guys aren't actually ghosts. They're another type of creature. Um, but it's really cool what they did with this. And there's a twist in it that I found um, unexpected until I thought back on it. And I realized he was hinting at it the whole time. But I think that was kind of the point. You weren't supposed to realize the hints until after the riddle was solved. Um, by one of the characters, uh, which was good. I really liked um, how that happened. Um, the characters were really well developed, and I loved seeing what he did with Danny's character as an adult. Um, and how Danny responded to the sort of hellish situation that was his early childhood. As you can imagine, you know, nobody would come out of that unscathed, even a boy with superpowers. Um, I can't really say enough about this book, and I can't really describe a whole lot without spoilers. Um, one thing I really liked about it, though, is despite the fact that it's a sequel, I think it could also be read as a standalone. And it is much, much shorter than The Shining. I think The Shining was nearly 1,200 pages, and... This book is 531, and that's including the author's note. So it's definitely a smaller read, um, even though this book looks huge. It's not really. Um, and yeah, everything that you need to know from The Shining is given in information um, in bite-sized pieces within this book itself. So it can be read as a standalone. So if maybe you're afraid of reading The Shining... Um, you can still pick up this book and enjoy it and not have to feel like you're missing out on inside jokes or anything or like inside information. And I really kind of love that because um, when you look at the book, there's nothing on it that says that it's a sequel until you read the book blurb. And uh, it's... It's definitely something that a lot of people would shy away from if they perhaps don't like to read books that are far over 500 pages like The Shining is. It's over double. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to pick this book up and feel like you're going to miss anything. Definitely pick this book up and read it. It's a great experience if you like Stephen King. It is kind of different if... Um, if you have read his other books, and especially if you read The Shining, also all of the events um, that call back to the, the events of The Shining are based on the book, not the movie. And um, what you probably don't know if you've only ever seen the movie is that the book and movie differ a little bit um, in some kind of significant ways. So if you read this book and it calls back the information you read you're like that didn't happen in the movie it's because it probably didn't happen in the movie um but yes yeah, still really good book i highly recommend it and uh like i said five stars um that's all i really have for this uh review right now 
Um, I will link down below to this book on Amazon and um, below I also have links to my social media if you would like to follow me. Also if you enjoy my content, uh, like and subscribe, <laughs> or thumbs up and subscribe rather, and keep reading.